hey beauties welcome back to a brand new video on my channel so in today's video we'll be doing some lipstick french nails very simple so if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe like comment down below if you wish there's always another time for you to subscribe so i won't be pressuring you right now to do go ahead and subscribe one thing that i do ask of you is definitely go follow me on all my socials as instagram and tiktok at bare beauty services so what i'm doing right now is that i'm cutting the nails into the lipstick shape if you guys are not aware of what the lipstick nail shape is i will insert a photo so you guys have it or it's on my thumbnails so you guys have an idea of what it is so after i cut the nails in a slanted position it either can be on the left or the right it all depends on where you want the slant to be i wanted it to be on the right so i did it cut it on the right so now i'm taking my emery board and straightening up the the nails and after doing this i will then go in with the drill So I'll be going in with my dark nude from Glamorous Nails and the first bead I will place at the apex area holding the nails in a 90 degrees angle so gravity can take effect on the product. While at the same time I will go ahead and try to carve the smile line as best as I possibly can while going back and forth just removing product off my brush but at the same time adding products so I can manipulate the acrylic on the nail as best as I possibly can. As it gets to the stage where the acrylic looks as if it's drying out, this is where you should take advantage of allowing, you know, moisting your brush and then manipulating the, the product around on the nail. So I'll go back and forth as I mentioned in previous clip that that's what I did, removing while at the same time adding product to manipulate this smile line. So since we have covered this much of the nail, the next bead that we want to work with is a smaller, much drier bead. Always remember to have your fingers or set your fingers in a 90 degrees angle, working on yourself, working with your client. I know it might be a little bit harder working on yourself, but always remember if you want to stay away from the cuticle area, hold that nail in a 90 degrees angle and then do your cleanup around the cuticle area and you will have a seamless application. So moving on, after everything has set, we'll be taking the emery board to straighten up these smile lines. I mean, I didn't have to necessarily do this, but because I wanted my nails looking very defined, I went in with my emery board 
to straighten up the smile line area and after doing this i will then go in with a e-file so the e-file is optional you don't necessarily have to do it if you don't feel comfortable doing it that's okay and i would recommend you just using the emery board anyways than the e-file so one of the reason why i say this is because the e-file you don't really have much control over and if you're not a advanced nail tech you will do some damage to the nail so one time i was using the e-file and i created a hole around the whole entire smile line so we will try to avoid that so if you can avoid it use your emery board So now I'm going in with my black acrylic, applying it at the tip and then pulling the product around the smile line area. It doesn't matter if you're on top of your smile line area is messed up. That's fine because you're going to remove it with the emery board at the end of the day. that i'm through with the whole acrylic application i'm going in with my emery board to remove majority of the bulk of the nail i mean i didn't have to go in with an e-file the only time that i did attempt that uh, with an e-file is to go around the critical areas and the side walls so i'll use my emery board i think this is a 150 grit which is a perfect grit for removing products or just bare minimal filing it's good so i'll do this on each of the nails and after doing this I will then take my e-file, go around the critical areas, as uh, you may know, try to remove some of the bulk from the side of the nail so it looks straight as possible. So it, the, me using the e-file and the nail file is very interchangeable. Sometimes I feel like going in with the e-file, sometimes I feel like going in with the, the nail file and it still gives me the result that I want. So I'll repeat this, this on all of the nails. So this smile line here is just by far one of my the better works. Um, I'm really proud. Everything turned out well. The nail shape, the smile, and everything. Critical areas weren't you know that great, but it turned out well. So the next step that I'll be taking is going in with my matte top coat, applying a nice moderate coat layer to the nail, and curing that for 60 seconds. So uh, originally, originally I wanted some money signs on the nails, but after thinking about it i did not want it after all so i go in with my top coat cure for 60 seconds oil my cuticles and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like comment down below remember to follow me on my socials that's instagram and tiktok at bear beauty services i hope you guys find this video very informative and you learned something from it even though it's not all that in depth but i definitely hope you guys learned something from my videos and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video